What's happening guys, it is me again, Honest Dave, from you today with a knife review. Now, I know you're getting tired of seeing the bottle cut test I've been doing for a while now. And I'm doing those because I'm trying to get back into, you know, Bowie knives. I've always liked Bowie knives, I just haven't owned one in a while. I got a couple of Bowie knife, you know, videos here on my channel, you know, but they're earlier videos back when I mean, shit, like two years ago, they're really not worth a damn. But, you know, I've always really liked Bowie knives. I've had, you know, a few of them. And, you know, of course, I've always had cheap ones, unfortunately, because I really can't afford to spend a lot. So I usually end up, you know, getting crap. But admittingly, I have had two... Very awesome Bowie knives. One was $25. The other one is only $20. And they kick fucking ass. Okay. If I can find a link to them online, I'm going to put them both in the description down below. They're really affordable. Make sure they're legal where you live, though. Because in some places, you can't even own a Bowie knife. Like Texas, of all places. Fucking Texas. You know, of all the goddamn places you couldn't own a Bowie knife, Texas? You know, whatever. You know, it's fucking stupid. You know, fuck you, Texas. You know, not, not the people who live in Texas, but those assholes who make those fucking stupid laws like that. Actually, I don't know if you still can I don't even know if that's still a law. Hell, I might be wrong. I'll have to go check it out later. But, you know, like I said, you know, just make sure Bowie knives are legal where you live. You know, just go to Google, type in knife laws in Kansas, Texas, you know, Britain, Canada, where the fuck you live. But I figured, fuck it, today I'm going to be showing you my new Bowie knife, which I've showed you in the past couple of days since I got it. Actually, yeah. Which is the Mossy Oak Bowie Knife. This hasn't been around too long. It's new for 2015. And I thought I was going to be the first one to do a review on this knife. But, you know, there's already a YouTube video on this knife. So I guess I'm number two to try it. First, let's show you, I'll show you the box. I got this at Walmart, by the way. Comes in a b very big fucking camo box. New, leather sheath included, breakup country, mossy oak bowie knife, stainless steel blade, stag finish handle. That's all that side. Let's see what we got down here. <clears throat> Distributed by Hong's Show Great Star Industrial, Industrial Company. LTD N O point five thirty five Jihan Road Johabi I can't pronounce it. It's made in fucking China, okay? Warning label Cut Hazard Sharp Blades Duh okay It's a fucking knife, okay? A dull knife is a piece of shit, okay? Improper use, chiseling, ice picking, prying, applying force under the back of the blade or contact may result in injury. Always keep the blade away from the fingers and body. Do not use if damage or blade is loose. Apply force onto the back of blades. Handle with care and do not use in, if not in use, stored in sheath or safe place. Keep out of reach of children. Alright, there you go, on the box. But now let's get to what you actually want to see, which is the knife. Now, like they say, it comes in this very, very nice, genuine leather sheath. Very sturdy. It has Breakup Country and the Mossy Oak logo on there. It has four pivots, keeping it in there. It actually has two belt loops, which is pretty cool. And two restraints. Now I know a lot of people are going to be pit, don't really like these restraints, and some or some are going to want to cut it off. I know they are, but here's what I do: instead of cutting it off like I plan to, 
I just take the bottom one, fold it over. There you go. Like I said, it is a nice, genuine leather sheath, very well stitched. Still has that new leather smell, which is awesome. Button locks, or button pegs, whatever you want to call them. Buttons, basically. Let's get into there now. Yeah, how is that for kick ass? As an eight and three quarter inch steel blade, eight inch cutting edge, has breakup country on the blade, brass handle guard, brass pommel, fake stag handles. And for being fake stag, these feel fucking real. Okay, let me tell you that much right now. And unlike a lot of these cheap $20 knives, you know, these cheap $20 fixed blades, this is actually completely full tang. The blade, the tang, all the way down there is all one solid piece of metal, which is kick ass. And that's what you want, okay? Don't get that half tang crap. Okay, don't, don't be like the Winchester Bowie fuck up. If you don't know what I mean by that, look it up. It was a fucking horrible idea. And even though this is only an 8 inch blade, this knife feels way bigger than it actually is. Let's see how long this son of a bitch is. There we go. It is a total length of 14 inches exactly. And has a five and a half inch handle. I have no idea how much this weighs because I can't really find anything about it online. Like I said, it is kind of a new knife. It's really fast in the hand. The balance point is uh, let's see where is that balance point? Right there. Right where it needs to be. I don't, like I said, I don't know how much this weighs exactly, but this is a very, very heavy knife. About a pound, maybe two pounds at the most. See how thick the tang is. The tang is about a half a centimeter. I wish it was half an, which was about a quarter or yeah, about maybe a half an inch. I don't know, a lot of guys would think, you know, that is way too thick for a tang. But you want a heavy bowing knife, okay? Especially if you're like me, because I actually do carry this. Which is perfectly legal here in Kansas, which is awesome. Seriously, here in Kansas, I can legally carry this or any fixed blade as much as I want. Concealed or not concealed. So what I do is I actually have this knife strapped around there to the back of my belt, slip it up under my shirt, boom. Because if shit goes down, you know I don't want to rely, you know, on a pocket knife. Because even though pocket knives are great, you know, weapons and great tools, any folding knife can fail. I don't care if it's a cheap m -Tech, I don't care if it's a no-name, I don't care if it's CRKT, Cold Steel, Benchmade, Spyderco, Kershaw, you know, whatever. They can fail. And I know I've shown a, a few self-defense knives in the past, such as this CRKT Obaki, which is a great knife, don't get me wrong, but what would you rather have in a fight? in a knife fight. This or this. I think I'm getting a little more reach with this bad boy.
mainly because even though this is quite fast and is a great stabber, that yeah, you got limbs coming off there, buddy. That's why I actually want to get a bigger Bowie knife. I'm looking to get me, if I can afford it someday, a John Fitson Bowie. Or I actually might go with the Cold Steel Frontier Bowie for now. Which is about $100, which isn't bad. And if they are sharpened, I'd like to get a Poshlin, but I don't have a sharpening system. What I might actually do is buy a Poshlin, which are very expensive, like 120 for a good one. Because they're more classical, they got bigger hand guards, which is what you want. They got Damascus steel and a more prominent clip. And what I would, what I would do if I do buy one is have, send it off to John Fitson, have him sharpen them, because he can sharpen them razor fucking sharp. Maybe have him do a back cut on the son of a bitch. Now what you don't, we might not know what a back cut is. This false switch right here, he'll sharpen it up, and that can be used as another weapon. Because back in the day, believe it or not, the bowie was not held out like this where the blade is inside. It was actually held like that. And they would have this sharpened, such as Jim Bowie's knife. And what they would do, they hold it like this, and they use that as a primary weapon, and they actually use the larger side as the back cut. Some had big brass plates right here on the handle, or on the tang of the blade. Smack you, cut you, stab, stab. Now, I don't know if that's, if that's 100% how they did it. You know, I know John goes into a much more detailed you know, analysis of it. Guys, if you're looking to talk about Bowie knives, John Fitzen is the right guy to go to to talk about them. Like I said, this is pretty kick-ass for now. And I might actually have John do some custom work on this one himself. I'm going to have him, you know, do the back cut. Let's see, if I can find it, or if I can afford it, I might actually, you know, buy some real stag and have him, you know, replace these false ones. And I don't know if he'll do it or not, but if I can find, if I can get in contact with Exacto, who is another YouTube knife guy, he does these very nice custom, you know, designs on the tangs of pocket knives and blades, and I'm actually him doing that as well. But until then, this is a very good knife. I say, once you get a good grip on it, pretty good. What I might do, I might do something, put something here on the tang though, because it is kind of slippery when it gets wet. Let's actually see how sharp this son of a bitch is. Yeah, I need to get it sharpened right here because while most of this blade is razor sharp, it seems to be a little bit dull right there. Might have John fix that up as well. There we go. Now let's see what we can do with the back cut. And that's with a false edge, okay? So yeah, it's not exactly razor sharp. It's sharp enough to get the shit done though, okay? Like I said, I definitely plan on having it professionally sharpened. Got a little finger troll in there. Just thought I'd show you that. 
Yeah, like I said though, if you're looking for a very good affordable Bowie, this is probably your best option right now. Or check Amazon and Timber Rattler, stuff like that. I mean, they do make some very good stuff. Check Size Co. as well. You can find them on Amazon. But remember, guys, when you do get a knife, don't buy that dull shit, okay? There are ways of checking how dull a knife, how sharp a knife really is. You have the whole slide your finger, you know, gets the side of the blade like that. Don't be one of those idiots who actually scrapes their finger against the edge of the blade because you're going to cut yourself. Because that's how you get cut, guys, is by moving the blade. Because you can get a good grip on these knives without cutting yourself as long as you're not stupid. It's such as this. See? No cuts. You got the whole shaving test. Or the fingernail test. Yeah, though, like I said, if you're looking for an affordable Bowie, this would be probably your best bet at the moment. Where's that rig? But if you really want to get a good Bowie, you know, you got to spend a few bucks or gas. About a hundred, hundred. 50 or 200 or if you want custom knives they can go into the thousands guys but they are worth the money like I said I definitely want to save up a few bucks you know save up a couple of hundred bucks and get a good Bowie which might be a little difficult because I'm planning on buying a shotgun soon so the Bowie might have to wait because as much as I love knives a double barrel shotgun be fucking kick ass. What do you guys think? Well, that's about all I got for you guys. So, like I said, um, if I can find it, I'll put a link to, of this in the description. I'll also put a link of that other Bowie knife I was talking about. And yeah, that's about it. So, guys, this has been Honest Dave signing out. Bye.